Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about a very important topic for the USMLE and all medical exams, the portosystemic shunts. It is very unlikely that you will have an exam without at least a mention of these shunts. There are seven areas where the systemic circulation and the portal circulation connect. These areas are very high yield for diseases like varices. The first area is the lower esophagus, where the left gastric veins connect with the esophagus veins. Next is in the stomach, where the short gastric veins connect with the left renal. Next is the splenic vein, where it connects with the left adrenal or sometimes the, the left renal. Next is the portal or hepatic veins who connect to the inferior phrenic veins. Next is the superior mesenteric or inferior mesenteric veins that connect to the right zeus veins. Next are the paraumbilical veins, which are known as veins of sapi, that are running through the ligamentum teres, connect to the epigastric veins. And finally, the superior hemorrhoidal veins, who connect with the middle or inferior hemorrhoidal veins. Having portal hypertension can cause varices in any one of these areas. Of course, most commonly in the lower esophagus, where the varices will cause upper GI bleed, and the paraumbilical, where it will cause the captus medusa. Again, these are very important. So to memorize them better, answer this quiz. I will have arrows pointing at this patient, and you name the portosystemic veins. All right, guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.